Hello, um, and thank you for joining me again. Um, today I've uh, got some more Ancient Britons to show you. I've uh, painted up the final chariot and I've done the basing on all the warband and the chariots now. So uh, all the troops I've got are together as an army. I need some generals and looking at it, um, I need to buy some more figures uh, to make it into a proper size army. But uh, I've made good progress and I'm quite pleased with how they're looking at the moment. I'll show you uh, the chariot I've just finished and then I'll give you a run past the uh, entire army as it stands. Um, okay, so uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you the chariot. This then is the sixth chariot. Um, nice model. Uh, it take a little time to put together. You've got to paint the horses, then you've got to paint the chariot body, then you've got to paint the figures to go on it. And uh, I drilled out the hand of the driver and threaded some reins through his hands and then through to the the bridle on the horse. Uh, that was a bit fiddly, um, but I think it looks all right. Um, this particular model had a couple of issues with, uh, only small ones and they're not uh, particularly damning, but um, one of the spokes in the wheel was a little bit miscast and uh, there's a bit of a break in one of the spokes. Um, I think it's on this wheel coming up now. I don't to see because I put it uh, and the shadows in the way. And the second was one of the legs of this horse was also miscast and he's missing the hoof off one of his back legs. Um, again, I don't think it shows too much, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm just... It's unusual, I think, to have a miscast, in my experience, from one of the foundry models. And the horses have come out a little bit shinier than I intended. I'll have to go back and put another matte coat on that, remembering to let the uh, the matte varnish uh, dry properly and uh, making sure I get no bubbles in the little creases. Um, I wouldn't want to spoil it now for uh, being in a rush. Right, so that's the new chariot. Uh, I'll now give you a view of the whole army. So here's the army. Um, the warband are in front, three units of 24, and in the back line we've got uh, six chariots, two light horse, and two slingers. I wanted to add more slingers, but uh, end up not having the figures, so I'll have to get a few more of those. I think I probably need at least one more warband. Um, preferably, I probably two more warbands. I think. And then I have to start thinking about an opponent for them. Um, I used to have a very large early imperial. Roman army, but it was one of the ones that I sold. Um, I don't regret selling it, um, but I am now thinking about uh, getting it again and painting it up. I've got some bare metal uh, and I've got some plastic sprues, so I've got a few that uh, 
a few figures that would go to start it off. But I'd have to get uh, a fair amount more. So I'm, I'm pondering that. Uh, I have to decide what the uh, the next stage in this project is. Probably to be fair to to get a few more ancient Britons and get those painted up before I go into uh, a whole new army. <laughs>